All about the world up, fully swelled up again.
As they go, the moment I am just waiting for the one thousand years to give me. Yeah, well, uh, that uh, four years, so I'm cutting one and cutting into two. So I want to say something. 
plus other pieces. But in that, in that, in that sort of side. So, how many men get what? Uh, electrician or certified solar installer. When they say, Where you got a certificate from? So I got it from Sanans Yaman University. Seven pieces for the for the new pillars. What yeah. about you following? I follow you, but yeah. I understand why you're so talking about the middle thing. Even the round the middle. Like yeah. every four you want one in between in the center. Now for example this four and we put one here. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Not everything. Like for example, we put some here, you're not putting one in the middle here. No. Yeah, that's Maybe we'll need one Okay, so I'm seven. Okay, we'll need one Okay, we'll need one Okay, we'll need one Okay, we'll need one Okay, we'll need we we'll put one in the middle and one as you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, like where? Like yeah, over there. Yeah, no pillow here. No pillow here. We we'll plan one here. Yeah, one we'll plan pillow over there or not? No pillow. So we we'll put it up there. Maybe somebody place a we'll leaf between here and here and two. Right? Between here and our wall. So yeah, but you can't do it. Yeah, like that place on our side. We can leave that play empty because we can put pillows on the lunar wall. Do you understand? So, you can take it from the middle here. From the middle. That's from here. Yeah. You know what this is? Yeah. I think the bottom line is that this will happen. You know what this is? Also, that so we for two the technically now even for two because we can we can't space on the pillows, right? Mm -hmm. So roughly probably we can have already four or five here, right? So nice down. So I think plus seven. Let's just say we have a ten. We are ten and five. We are buying the iron the way we are hurting the 
What's Yeah. I want always when 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 they run it, 
So, so I like it. Well, I got a question. Let's see that. So, if white men don't want to have a wedding, why would they have a wedding? Oh, so that's why I have to measure it. No, we're trying, we're trying to. So, let me see another version of it. Why? I would have a version of it. More than a version of it. Yeah. 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 The brother, the brother, 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 The DJ here is not on you. The DJ will be here in the air forever. My man is free, my Matido. I had a stealing your stuff. Can you get my change? I want to give you money and give you money. Don't just leave it get back to you. Wow. 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 Wow.
So what we've done here is that we don't only produce power here and send it down but we also bring it back up here so we are up the top of the roof and what do you see what there? you see some light these are special lights that are brought here with me from the US uh, very powerful LED lights uh, solid uh, they are in a bright sunny day and they're still that bright so i know that they are really good uh, i've used them at night anyways in fact i've swapped out all of the light bulbs in my apartment for these ones i've got they have the, so yeah there's a lot of things special about this uh, even the sockets they use are different if you can see like there's a tiny little thing right behind it and that's the sun but uh, anyways so we have the power line going down there as you can see in our gray pipes so once I install the solar lights, these the red and black lines here are the uh, solar power. Once it's generated, it goes to those lines and it goes down into the gray pipe. It goes all the way down and over there it goes down into the building where it goes to my battery bank and my inverter. And then uh, the white line here is what brings back power from that battery and that power comes back in this small white pipe uh, that yellow wire there it brings back the power and that power is what feeds the lights up here the two light bulbs and then at every full form of this place we have what we have here as a power uh, and then we have the switch here to control the lights up here so i can turn off the lights here if i want so here it is on and here it is up and now you don't see any light and you don't see any light over there but I'm gonna flip this switch with my foot and there it is it's on so yeah so we got power back up here so at each of these four corners I have these power outlets so I have them I can plug my computer in here and work from up here it's still messy it's dirty we're still working yeah see that so I'm actually charging this phone. This phone I'm recording on is already uh, almost dead. I just brought out the power cord here to charge it. I've been using it all day. Uh, here, my brother is here installing the last uh, piece of uh, power outlet that we are going to be connecting to. And that wire that comes from back here feeds the power, it runs down. So, we're going to do a clean up after all of this work, clean up all of the mess, and then we'll do a proper video here. But this is the uh, uh, raw, unedited content that you will see of our work. This is our grounding wire, folks. This grounding wire is going to go right into this big tube here. And it's going to go down into our buried uh, ground system. So our grounding wire is all over the panels. Our panels are well secure. And this is our lightning rod right here. This copper, pure copper rod. And these are all copper wire. You can everything and set it up. And that, if you are wondering what that is, that is my antenna for the internet. So I wired up the home for home internet. And that antenna has a clear view too. And a big I mean, I don't think you can see it. Where is it? Where is this thing? So I can see the tower from here. But probably let's zoom in. Let's zoom in more. 
but there you go right in the middle you see those two towers the bigger tower the tall tower is the internal tower so because i have direct line of sight from here there so this antenna receives really good internal signal so this building now has internet as well and these are the things that worry me about being here i normally used to have to leave from here to go do any type of work i want to do closer to downtown where there is better signal whether it's a restaurant or cafe i used to go find it and then of course that you see over there is my boho well so i have water i have electricity everything from the ground and the sky so i'm set up as i said everything is kind of dirty we're hauling sand up here why because we're going to tile this entire roof once we put the tile here and we are going to continue with expanding our solar uh, system uh, solar panels will be over perhaps 95 percent there are spots that don't have these areas for us to build the poles to support the solar panel system so but most of the area so as you can see this entire area is going to be covered with solar panels solar panels and over there, that entire section from that uh, water tank the black water tank the poly tank you see down to the edge of the building just like we did that part it's going to be all covered with solar panels and here that is the plan so we're going to produce enough power to at least at least light provide source of power for lights for this entire building the two floors just from up here right um, AC and other things might or might not having done the full calculation but rough estimation is that we're gonna have enough power here for lights and fans right uh, maybe even AC so I can't tell you I'm not certain of that but definitely sure that we will power all of the lights we need. In fact, I want this building to be really, really well lit up. So a lot of lights. Um, we're bringing in some sand. The sand from the pickup is going to be used to do like some small plastering. So that's why we're not bringing a truck load. It just need a small work. I'm going to use the wood out there for building some scaffold inside the building for the guys to use to smooth in the walls, the high walls. And we are building our banister up there, so that would be a little banister at the front. And down there also we are going to build the same thing. Those pipes are galvanized pipes, quite expensive in these parts. Well, everywhere actually, anyway. Galvanized pipes are a bit more expensive than just uh, iron pipes. Just because we don't get rusted that easily, uh, they last much, much longer uh, without getting rust. So, yeah, folks, I'm super excited. When I cleaned up this place, I'm going to be relaxing. As a matter of fact, I already brought in my coat and assembled it. And I was just actually reclining on my little coat. This one is a little bit too low, about two. Um, but I went to the warehouse searching for where they are, and I found this one. And I assembled it. It's not that bad, but it's just a little bit low. So, yeah, this my coat. But it's really light. Like, look, look, look. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Your one finger, your pinky finger can lift this entire thing. And you can just basically fold it up and put it in the bag. That comes into this little pocket. Yep, <laughs> that's the bag right there. I fold it up and put it in there a little pocket. So, uh, you can travel with it wherever. But I will be using it right on top of this building, at the top of the building. Just to relax, chill, careful. Oh, I think I missed this. I think this thing should have been pulled up there somewhere, maybe hooked into it. I think that's what should have been there. But yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm a fool, I know. Ha. Yep. All right. And this is the view of the surrounding area. This is Johnsonville, folks. This is Johnsonville. So when I got this land, this entire area you are seeing was all bush. Okay? These were all high bushes. A lot of palm trees, a lot of high bushes, no buildings here, all of out of high, okay, not but you see, so from this part, roughly there were no buildings here. Absolutely not. Seriously. Okay, no, there was an exception. There was one building here which has been demolished and replaced with this little apartment. It's just one small white building was here. I remember he was one of my neighbors. 
Besides that, everything here was non, non okay, there was an exception that yellow building was there. That's my cousin's house. Uh, everything else was in around here. Nothing here. Just bushes. But here we are today. Many roofs, many people, many buildings, and lots of noise, of course. But uh, I love this place uh, for the fact that it still has uh, some sense of organization, alleys and streets are slightly uh, kind of violated, but still better than most places. And this is why in X City we are making all of those efforts. No, not even the slightest violation of just the building codes and things like that. But uh, yeah, Johnsonville in some parts uh, is uh, the building codes, or at least the alleyways are respected. So that's good. Uh, yeah, beautiful buildings. That is one beautiful blue apartment building. Uh, it is going to be ready soon for Airbnb, etc. So let me know if you're looking for Airbnb in the Johnsonville area. That blue building, I know who the owners are. I can hook you up uh, to stay in that blue apartment building. They are very spacious, huge apartment buildings. And yeah, let me know. Uh, Best of Johnsonville. Best of Johnsonville.